So today we received some more treats. And Michael's gonna explain what we actually got in the mail. It's gonna be a sad moment for some of you guys, but it's circle of life. So we have... How do you think it came in the mail? Okay. Redo. <laughs> Come on. So we actually have received today. Been gifted. Been gifted by another wonderful family member. Michael's mom. Our processing equipment. Killing machines. People aren't going to like you saying that. So is this where you got it from? Mm -hmm. Featherman equipment. This is the plucker. Uh, all right, come on, because we have stuff it. to no, do. I want to see, see you do it. No, I want to go let ahead. See, let me see what you learned. I don't know anything. So this is all of the equipment that we have purchased to be able to process our own chicken and turkey meat this year. So the beginning process will be what, Michael? The cones. So the beginning process is to grab the animal. <laughs> Ignore its pleads for life. Wow. Put them upside down. Her Put her upside down or him. Right. So their little head comes out the bottom. Right. And then you get a super sharp knife. And right. You go just, right. Don't take their head off all the way. Just get your, their little artery. And it's a very calming, very slow bleed out. And that's the bucket. That's what this is for the protection. So no, the blood it's not is for protection, it's for blood. It's for blood. He says that because he watches the Sanford and Son dentist episode. So the thought is, and this, that's stands, his comment. this stands right beside the scalder. So you put them in here. Snip, and we have snip. Takes about two minutes for them to bleed out. And then their little feet go in these stirrups. Wow. And they get dunked in the 145 degree water, which loosens up their feathers. That's big. From there, next to, so it would go one, two, and one, then three. Two. But three's over here. Three's over here. They would go into the plucker. Mm hmm. And you could put four or five at a time in here. Yeah, this is big. I didn't think it was this big. And there's a water supply. Right. And the water shoots out all the way around. Oh, it shoots, ah. And tumbles the chickens and removes a, pretty much 98% of their feathers. Which is awesome for us. And Although old out. school had to pluck their own feathers. Right. And they come out at the bottom. The feathers do? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's here. So you put a little, a little bucket tarp or something, or a bin. tarp. <coughs> so after... This is useless. <laughs> It'll fit my head. Little peanut heads. <laughs> so after it goes from cone... To scalder. To scalder. To plucker. To plucker. And then goes on the table. Goes on the table. And we have to do all of the... Evisceration. Processing. Processing. And so end up in little shrink bags. Taking out all the little belly stuff. Oh, and then belly guts, then once, lungs, hearts, livers, and all of that. Once that takes place. So after you do all of the evisceration part, it then goes to, to the chill tank. This is the chill tank. And that'll be that's look how big this now. chill tank is. Result. So yeah, it'll be horizontal. And they chill for, you know, six hours. But just to see how deep that is. And that's all food grade, food grade plastic. Food grade plastic. This is a lot. This is a lot. All those classes that we take, all the videos that we watch. Huck and Buck Farm has stepped up their game. Thanks, Mom. Yes, yeah, a lot. You ready for it? 
So first batch of chickens, um, the Cornish cross jumbo that we're getting come in April. So they're, yeah, so we ordered 50 chickens. They're coming in April. They should be ready in eight weeks. So that's May, June, basically. If they come in April, they're going to be done. Let's say it's all of April, all of May. So like uh -huh. the first two weeks of June. First two weeks of June, 50 chickens. Now, the crack up. Let me turn this to the camera to see my face. The crack up is not the hens that we have to do. It's gonna be them turkeys. Well, we need to get a different cone. They make a bigger cone. Oh yeah, turkey. cause the, it's not even a matter of the cone. It is a matter of the cone. I mean, I get, yeah, I understand that. The turkeys aren't this big. It's us picking them jokers up. Okay. Picking those 50 pound, 50 pound turkeys up alive, putting them in a cone, so we're probably going to have to even space that apart because you really can't even get... It's going to be a different cone. Yeah. For the turkeys. So we do have to order those. Yep. So I'm excited. I know some of you might not be excited. There might be some comments, but this is what we have to do. We don't have to, but this is what we want to do. We make sure we take care of the animals. They're fed. They're loved. They're all that stuff. And they have one bad day. One bad day. It's not even so, a bad day. It's a bad minute. It's a bad minute. But the equipment is in. I'm excited. Thank you for showing us, um, Michael, at Huck and Buck Farm. Whatever. All right, so now we have to go take back the Home Depot box. for the storage shed because they only gave us one box and the shed comes in two boxes and we only received one. So this is the shed stuff. You gotta make the platform, we're gonna put it here. So all of that equipment that you saw, it'll be in this space here um, with a pipe and all that kind of whatnot to drain the washed off blood and we're going to definitely utilize the well donated and gifted thank you marva um sinks that were given to us a couple years ago 2021 so we're going to have that all hooked up we have a nice stainless steel table here that can be used for all the cutting so lots going on but i'm excited i'm excited for another level of farming. So when you guys are in the Acme and the Giant and the Food Lion and the Aldi's and the Walmart getting your chicken meat, you can now come to Huck and Buck Farm and get your meat. Because we have the meats and the equipment. Thank you, everyone. Don't mind the garage. Huck and Buck Farm. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Watch our videos. We appreciate you. 1,000 subscribers this year. Uh, we gotta put all this stuff back in the box. Oh, God. Toodles!